So jumping into it tomorrow, we have part two of the Gridiron Guardian promo. I was waiting for Eric Dixon and his stats to finally get released, and EA finally released them. You guys already saw all the rest of the players, so I'll be going over them real quick in this video. But right here on the screen, Eric Dickerson, running back, power back, 91 overall, 91 speed, 88 acceleration, but where it matters, my personal opinion for a running back, 91 change of direction, 90 trucking, 90 break tackle. Should be really good, depending on how much he goes for, I might want to pick him up. But right now, the top running backs in the game is Marshawn Lynch and Eric Dickerson starting tomorrow. Should be interesting what abilities and X factors he gets. Hopefully he doesn't get a crazy X factor that gives him like unbreakable um, on the, like the first tackle to break the first tackle guaranteed. I don't like those X factors at all or anything that gives a player a free advantage, literally yards or touchdowns. But let me know your thoughts down below on Eric Dickerson. I'm not gonna lie, if some way somehow I pull him in the pack or reroll or within anything, good chance, like 80% chance I'm gonna sell him Right now, all these players are going for like over a million coin, at least within the first day. So if I pull him, I'm going to sell him. Let me know down below. We guys keep him where your team if you guys pull him, or you guys sell him and keep the coin. For the rest of the high-end players, now you guys are already seeing these. And jumping over to the rest of the players, pretty plain and simple. They're all going to be really good. I know for wide receivers right now, we currently have a couple of new options for wide receivers, especially if you guys are running a theme team. But this player right here, DK Metcalf, Tomorrow's LTD, so hopefully, hopefully, me, myself, and all of you guys watching can pull them in rerolls. I'm not sure about you guys, but I haven't lost, you know, the amount of coins that I'm investing into training. I haven't really lost on my profits. I've actually made profits on rerolls, just depending how much and how lucky you guys are getting. I haven't pulled LTD, but if tomorrow I have a chance, I want to get DK Metcalf. 91 speed, really good. 90 short route running, 91 medium route running, 90 deep route running. I don't know. I care about the route running because I feel like it affects him a lot more on getting released, especially in corner routes, slant routes, or zigzags, which very easily beats cover one and cover zero, depending on your matchup. But overall, DK Metcalf is dropping tomorrow. Tomorrow's LTD, really good player. I definitely want him. I'm not going to purchase him tomorrow. He's going to be over a million coins. And I feel like that's one of the worst investments, the worst player purchase you guys could do why buy unless you guys have it like that why buy a player for over a million coins nick bosa 91 overall 88 speed damn 93 <laughs> i'll explain why i did that in a little bit 93 block shedding 87 power move 19 finesse move i'm not sure about you guys but whenever i'm playing ultimate team now wanna get better now i'm saying i win every game but i want to get better i play all madden season and recently, I've been going against some pros, losing, of course, but their teams are stacked with the best players. So, so with that being said, let me know your thoughts down below. With the offensive player being really good, with Eric Dickerson, LTD, DK Metcalf, and Nick Bosa, that is what you guys call a complete three, a complete trio. All the players are really good dropping tomorrow. Hopefully, rerolls are really good. Hopefully, they're juiced up. And hopefully, you and me both get lucky and pull ltd dk metcalf now jumping over to the auction market i feel like now more than ever that i'm actually trying to stay up to date with my team and i always say this i'm not gonna have a god squad but i'm always gonna have or try to have the top three players at every single position now one position that i need to upgrade and if you guys missed out there was a purchase for 5,000 training in the store for the aka promo i got so lucky i pulled night training like yo i went crazy so that's how my team's you know really good but i'm still missing a shutdown corner i want to add two more at least to be complete so i kind of hope tomorrow there's a little dip right now champ bailey what 600k let's just round up 600k he's going a little lower for 580 but hopefully tomorrow if i was to purchase him sounds crazy i need him to go under 500k i can't spend over 500 on a player a million no way 500 no way i'm gonna wait until the market dips hopefully this weekend don't forget this weekend there is ladders so if you guys this time for the ladders i want to get in good reps to see how good you guys are play at least one game you guys will receive a free pack i'm not sure how good the pack is going to be if it's going to be glitchy or not but at the end of the day it's a free pack night train lane running over 600k but the number one player i want i'm not gonna lie i want to test out michael vick heard michael vick and set the lead is 
really good. Chris McAllister, hopefully he dips under 400. The other day, hopefully tomorrow there's, there's a little dip in the market, so at least I can purchase some players. A kicker, I'm not lying to you. I invest into my special team. I used to not invest into those games when it comes down to the wire. I lose, then I'm like, man, I should have got that pitcher that's worth getting. So if I can get Tucker for the right price, I'm for sure going to get him. Just because at the end of the day, putting up three points is way better than putting up zero. This is my offense. This is my defense. Nothing too special. Like I said, I want to add a better corner to at least you know, replace Sauce. But at the end of the day, this is my team. Let me know down below what's your plan tomorrow. Will you guys make some purchases? And let me know down below what's your team overall, right? I want to get to know your team. Is it good? Is it not? Is there upgrades tomorrow? Yes or no? Hopefully on Friday, we get some good legend reveals. So there's an even bigger dip in the market. But if you guys want to stay updated with anything related to Ultimate Team, I'm going to try my best to upload a lot more. A PC is on the way, so stay tuned for that. Like, subscribe, notifications. Leave a comment down below your thoughts on the Gridiron players and your plans for tomorrow. And I'll see you guys on the next